Hi, my name is Yona. I'm the after school leader at the Field Teen Center, and today I'm going to talk about The Black Flamingo by Dean Ada, which I read as an audiobook on the Libby app. This is a novel in verse about this young boy named Michael. He is half Greek and half Jamaican, and the story follows his life from a very young age where he's playing house with other boys all the way up to college where he becomes a drag performer. I thought this book would be really heavy because of some of the struggles that a gay black boy is likely to face growing up in England, but there was a surprising amount of sweetness in the story uh, with his mom, who is not perfect but tries really hard to support him, and his friends and other similar networks, and even some special individuals who enter his life. Very juicy. So I was really uplifted by the story, in part because there are obviously a lot of relationships, both with men and his family that Michael is navigating in this story, but he's also trying to figure out his relationship with himself. And he really crafts this sense of self-worth and self-love in part through his poetry. So this book is a really good one for the poets out there, not just because he's a poet, but because like I said, it is a novel written in poetry. So you'll like this one if you enjoyed things like The Poet X by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Acevedo or Ellen Hopkins who wrote Crank and Smoke or Solo by Kwame Alexander. These are all also novels in verse. So if you read this one and you want more, those are great places to look. Or maybe you started there and you're trying to figure out if this one is gonna be up to par. I read this entire book in one night in part because it was pretty quick and easy to read being a novel in verse, but also because I was just smitten. It was so enjoyable to read and I wanted to find out what would happen. Is he gonna get the boy or not? And uh, I can't tell you, you're gonna have to read it. So if you've read this book and you enjoyed it, comment and let us know what you think.